Uh, Mr. Naik, uh, this is myself, Dr. Suryakant Pohar from St. John Hospital. Uh, thanks for the nice and enlightening lecture about the Quran as God's word. As you mentioned that Quran is God's word, I just want to ask you, who is the creator of the God? What is the origin of God? Well, that's a very good question. That if Quran is the word of God, who is the creator of God? Very good question. If I ask you, brother, that your friend John, he gave birth to a child. Can you guess the child was girl or a boy? Your friend John gave birth to a child in the hospital. Can you guess was it a girl or a boy? Guess, guess. No. Girl I, or a boy? I can't guess. Sorry? I may not guess. Try. At least 50% you will get right. Yeah, 50%. One half chance. Okay, tell me. Boy. Boy. <laughs> Whether can a man give birth to a child? No. So is it a girl or a boy? But the name can be followed female. I'm asking you, your friend John. I don't know anyone female called by John. No, we can call. No. No. Okay, suppose a friend who is a boy, is a man. He went to hospital. He gave birth to a child. Was it a girl or a boy? Girl. <laughs> can a man give birth to a child? Brother. No. <laughs> ah, now you understood. A man can't give birth to a child. So where is the question of it being girl or a boy? So by definition, God is uncreated. So the question, who is the creator of God? It's like I asking you a question, your friend who's a man, he gave birth to a child, is it a girl or a boy? The question is illogical. Because by definition, a man cannot give birth to a child. So where's the question of girl or a boy? So by definition, God is uncreated. Every created thing has a creator, God does not have a creator. Therefore, in my argument with the atheist, I never ever said that everything has a creator. I said every created thing has a creator. But the God is uncreated. By definition, the moment I mention who is the creator of God, he is not God. Therefore, by definition, God is uncreated. Hope that answers the question. Okay. Thank you.